Losing a significant amount of belly fat within a few weeks is not only feasible, but I'm here to provide you with a precise plan that guarantees impressive results in just 30 days. The reality is that you can shed a substantial amount of belly fat in a short period while simultaneously enhancing your overall health, increasing your energy levels, and improving your body composition. I am committed to sharing the exact framework that will help you achieve these goals. In this video, I will outline the most effective steps that you can easily apply to rapidly burn off belly fat while also preserving as much muscle mass as possible. These steps will enable you to achieve your goals efficiently and effectively. It is common to understand that in order to lose fat, we need to reduce our calorie intake and consume healthy foods. There are numerous approaches to achieving this, but in today's video, I want you to offer a straightforward, step-by-step -step guide that you can follow without overcomplicating things. The key to successfully losing belly fat is to take action rather than overthinking the process. By implementing this simple guide, you can start making progress toward your goals. But before we continue, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. The first step I suggest is to decrease your meal frequency, which may contradict mainstream advice that promotes eating 5 or 6 small meals throughout the day. Instead, aim to have only 1 or 2 meals per day. This approach helps to minimize calorie intake, reduce the amount of willpower required, and simplify the fat-burning process. I have been following this eating pattern for years except when actively trying to build muscle. Eating one or two meals a day does not lead to muscle loss, metabolic slowdown, or excessive hunger improperly structured. Eating fewer times has the advantage of triggering your stomach's stress reflex, signaling to your brain that you're full. This limits the amount you can physically consume per meal. I will explain what to include in your meal shortly, offering a simplified approach that does not involve calorie counting. Before we delve into that, I recommend starting your day with a black coffee instead of breakfast. This may help curb your appetite, and skipping breakfast can be relatively easy to adapt for most people. If you prefer not to wait until nighttime for your only meal, you can offer two meals instead, one around lunchtime and another about an hour before bed. The next step is to go grocery shopping for simple foods that are both delicious and filling while providing the necessary nutrients your body needs. Typically, I advise shopping on the outer aisles of the grocery store, focusing on sections like produce, meat, seafoods, dairy, and eggs. However, to make this guide more specific and practical, let's dive into details. When you reach the grocery store, start in the produce section. Purchase the pre-cut fruits such as watermelon, pineapple, and honeydew lemon. You can also get avocados and easily consumable whole fruits like apples, bananas, and berries. The idea is to choose items that require minimal preparation. Cutting up a whole watermelon every time you're hungry can be a hassle, so opting for pre-cut an option simplifies the process. When you're hungry and in a rush, having readily available and healthy options like pre-cut fruits increases the likelihood of making a wise choice instead of reaching for unhealthy alternatives. Next, move on to the meat section and seafood section. Get one pound portion of meat such as salmon, ground turkey, ground chicken, lean ground beef, and chicken breast. You can also consider other seafood options like shrimp or white fish. After that, head to the frozen vegetable section. I highly recommend frozen veggies over raw ones because they are already cut and just as nutritious. Plus, they are easier to prepare. Purchase frozen bags of green vegetables like broccoli, a California mixed vegetable bag with carrots, broccoli and cauliflower, and a bag of mixed peppers. If your store offers stir fry options, you can include those as well. To add some carbs for taste, you can get Uncle Ben's already cooked pouches of brown rice. Having a high heat oil like avocado oil on hand is also useful. Finally, let's consider snacks. Unfortunately, this won't be the typical snacks you're used to. Your snacks should be easily accessible, high in protein, and low in fat and carbs. Some options include flavored tuna packets, sardines, nitrate and nitrate-free lean deli cuts, eggs, low-fat cottage cheese, Jack Lang's Zero Sugar Beef Jerky, and protein bars. Keep in mind with protein bars, you should not consume more than two per day as they may contain added ingredients, salt, and extra calories beyond the core nutritional aspects provided by protein. By focusing on these food choices, you can simplify your meal preparation and make healthier eating decisions without feeling deprived. The next step is to ensure that you prepare one or two meals a day, and in my opinion, stir fries are the easiest option with the ingredients mentioned. Even if you're not skilled in cooking, you can make a super simple stir fry. Take a 12 to 14 inch frying pan and fill it with mixed vegetables. Cover it with a lid until the vegetables are fully cooked. No need to add oil or spray the pan as the frozen vegetable contain enough water to prevent sticking when cooked with a lid. Seasoning are crucial to making your meal taste good because if it doesn't taste good, you're unlikely to continue eating it and may give up on your diet. Taste is more important than saving a few extra calories because the amount of vegetables you'll be consuming will likely result in significant calorie saving. If you're eating one meal a day, you'll eat this meal with an avocado until you're full. You likely won't be able to finish the entire meal because it's so filling. 
If you're having two meals, you can divide the meal however you prefer. Personally, I prefer a small lunch and big dinner. Additionally, you can still consume two or three servings of fruit per day, such as three large apples or store-bought package of watermelon. Use your own fist as a guide to determine the appropriate food serving size. Finally, you can enjoy your snack protein sources without limitation, such as tuna packets, sardines, and delicas, as they provide additional protein to your diet with low risk of overeating. This plan will help you burn a significant amount of fat over the course of 30 days, even without tracking your calories. While there are various ways to design a healthy diet, such as replacing rice with potatoes or meat with seitan or tofu, or increasing fruit intake instead of avocados, I wanted to provide you with a straightforward plan to get started immediately. The foods you find on the outer aisles of your grocery store will naturally make you feel full, so if you can't finish your meal or meals, that's perfectly fine. If you prefer to track your calories, I encourage you to do so, but I'm confident that you won't need to with this kind of plan. The next step is to incorporate weightlifting in your routine. While cardio can help burn additional calories, the focus should be on resistant training to maintain muscle mass while slimming down. Aim to do resistant training at least 3-4 to four days per week. When lifting weights, it's beneficial to work with heavy weights that challenge you and cause muscle failure around 10 reps. For resistant training sessions, you should alternate between upper body and lower body exercises. In upper body days, you can superset push exercises like chest presses and overhead presses with pull exercises like pull-ups and rows. For lower body days, focus exercises like squats, deadlifts, lunges, and Bulgarian split squats. Typically, performing 9-12 to heavy sets for both upper and lower body can be sufficient. Remember, the key is to go heavy and push your muscles to their limits. The final step is to maintain consistency by repeating the previous 4 steps every day for 30 days. It's important to follow the exact framework outline, but you can vary the vegetables, carbs, and proteins you include in your meals. The key is to stick to this plan consistently without deviating from it. While there are numerous ways to approach fat loss, following the straightforward and actionable framework can help you see significant reduction in belly fat over the next few weeks without feeling constantly hungry. However, it's crucial to emphasize the importance of consistency. It won't yield significant results if you only adhere to the plan for a few days. Stay committed and make it a daily habit to maximize your chances of success. In conclusion, losing belly fat and achieving significant improvements in your body composition and overall health is possible within a few short weeks. By following simple and actionable framework, which includes decreasing meal frequency, shopping for simple and nutritious foods, preparing delicious meals, incorporating weightlifting, and maintaining consistency, you can make substantial progress towards your goals. Remember, the key is to focus on filling, single ingredient, and natural diet that provides body with the nutrients it needs while reducing calorie intake. Incorporating resistant training helps maintain muscle mass and aids in fat loss. Consistency is paramount as following the plan consistently over the course of 30 days will yield the best results. While there are various approaches to achieving your desired outcomes, this straightforward and practical framework serves as a direct and effective starting point. By committing to the process and taking action, you can experience noticeable changes in your body, energy levels, and overall well-being. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.